in this lecture we are going to uh, talk about how can we design a simple music player using python coding okay so when you will run this code which i have uh, defined over here on this sublime text platform so you are going to come across a beautiful music player uh, like this okay and here you'll get to see the names of all the songs i have added to the playlist fine now uh, if you want to play a song what you have to do you just have to select that song and when you'll hit this play button you will be able to hear that song in the background fine now if you want to change the song uh, let's choose this one that's how you can change it suppose you want to pause the song in between so you can just hit this pause button and the song will go pause if you want to unpause it that's how you can do it if you want to stop the song you can hit this button and if you want to play it again this is how you can do it right, so this is the music player which we are going to develop today using this python coding and the first thing which you have to keep in mind is uh, these are the three packages uh, we will be requiring for uh, developing this music player system and what you can do you can just make use of the terminal which is there on your device installed for installing these three packages for installing this package you have to fire pip install tkinter this is a command which you have to fire through your uh, in your uh, cmd that is command prompt or you can say terminal for getting this thing installed second uh, is this package with name pygame so for, in order to install it you have to fire pip install pygame command uh, in your terminal and finally it is os this is the third package which you need to which we will be requiring for developing this music player system okay so the way you have installed this take inter and pi game in the same way you can install this one also by the way os comes by default okay so once if there is python installed on your device so uh, it there is a possibility that there this OS package is also there on your device. So you, now once you're done with importing these packages, uh, what you have to do, you have to define the music player class. So this is the main class which you're seeing over here, named music player. After that, we need a constructor. So this is how we can define a constructor on Python. Hope you guys are aware about this thing. If you have seen my basic if you have seen the videos which are based on basics of python then definitely you must be knowing this thing this constructor thing fine then we can uh, define this code self dot root is equal to root okay for setting the title of the window uh, this is the code which you can make use of self dot root dot title so when you will run this project the title which you are going to see right on the top of this window is music player so it is coming from this code which we have defined over here likewise uh, you know the size of this window if you want to control the size of the wind this window you can do it with the help of this line of code self dot uh, root dot geometry geometry is the name of the function with which you can set the geometry or dimensions of your music player now after that you need to initialize this pi game so this is the command which we guys can make use of for initializing this pi game okay and then uh, for initiating the pi game mixer we need to make use of this command pi game dot mixer dot init okay finally we need to declare declare the track variables with which we can fetch the track name of the track these are the name of the tracks which you are seeing over here uh, in this playlist and self dot status for checking for declaring the status uh, we need another variable so this is a variable which we are going to make use of fine creating track frame for song label and status label 
this song label okay when you will select this song so so in order to get this thing this whole thing reflected over here we will be needing some variables so the this track frame we have made use of for creating the track frame for song label and status label fine so uh, this song track which i have defined over here this you can see it is getting reflected like this on this music player so this is coming from this line of code okay if you want to set the font you can set it like this i have set it to times new roman if you want you can change it to something else also background color should be gray see this is a background color and it's gray right now so it is coming from this line of code fg stands for foreground color so foreground color is white this title is getting reflected in white color and it's because of this value which i've passed for this fg property okay uh, bd it is 5 and then uh, groove so it's a groove kind of thing which is getting reflected right this rectangle is in uh, groove so that's how you can set the graphics for the uh, song label now inserting song track label so for inserting the song track label again i have made use of a variable song track and this is the property label which i have made use of over here so this is going to fetch for me the track which i will select and they all are getting reflected in this times new roman font fine and if they are in bold right now and for background color is gray foreground color is gold so foreground is gold as you can see here foreground is gold and background is gray it's because of the code which i have defined over here fine now let's come back on this code so this is for this is for inserting the status label this code i have made use of uh, for creating the button frames okay the so the buttons which you are seeing over here play pause unpause stop they are inside a frame like structure uh, you know the label of which is control panel so it is coming from these two lines of code which i have defined over here okay control panel this is the uh, because of this this control panel is getting reflected over here if you'll make some changes over here automatically the same is going to get reflected on this window also on this music players window as well fine if you want to change the font you can change it mm, and if you want to set a background color uh, you can set it using this bg property foreground color is white and bd is equal to 5 and relief is equal to groove so it's in a groove kind of rectangle box right now as you can see fine now let's come on how can you insert the required four buttons play pause unpause unpause stop so these are the codes i have made use of this code is going to insert the play button okay this is the whole code which i have made use of for inserting the play button and this whole code is also customizing with this code i can customize the look of the button also if you want you can change the font size if you want you can change the uh, font family also okay the background color also you can change right now it is gold if you want to define it something else if you uh, you can make the changes over here okay and this is the type of view i want so it's a grid view which you are seeing over here okay horizontal grid view so i have made use of this grid property in order to get the buttons reflected in order to get the buttons reflected in this horizontal grid view okay same is the thing which i have made use of for inserting the pause button and this is a code line of code i have made use of for this unpause button and this is for the stop button now comes how i have created the playlist frame so this uh, these are the uh, these are the lines of course i have made use of for creating the playlist frame fine so here you can see 
uh, right on the top this song playlist is getting reflected it's because of this text i have defined over here and then i have set the properties the way i have set it for all the buttons and frames i have made use of in the same way i have set the properties for this uh, playlist also banti awaaz aa rahi hai bhai teri banti gonchu awaaz aa rahi hai teri now uh, you can see there is a scroll scroller uh, over here and this i have created using this scroll bar feature okay using this scroll bar property i have uh, created this scroll scroll bar which you are seeing over here fine and then for inserting the playlist list box so this is the uh, property i made use of list box so this is going to insert the all the songs in the playlist fine and they are going to appear the background color is going to be silver sorry gold and the foreground color is going to be navy blue of all the names which are getting reflected here in this playlist fine and then how i have applied this scroll bar to the list box how i have connected this scroll bar to this list so this is the line of these are the lines of code i have made use of for connecting the list box to the scroll bar now in order to fetch the songs from the directory os.ch directory this is the code i have made use of for fetching the songs which i have got in this songs folder i have uh, on the, on my desktop okay so it is fetching for me it is redirecting it is going to fetch for me uh, the location of this folder and finally this is the line of code which is going to fetch for me all the songs which are there in this folder named songs now how i have inserted the songs into the playlist so this is a code i have made use of it's a for loop okay uh, i have defined over here so for track and song tracks song tracks is a variable i have used over here for fetching the songs so i have made use of a variable track over here which is going to uh, you know check out all the songs in this song tracks variable list type of variable and then it is going to insert all the songs and i will be able to see the songs over here in this playlist like this fine now defining play song function so this is the function which i have defined which i have made use of for playing any song that the user is going to select from here okay self dot track dot set active then status should be equal to playing and pi game dot mixer dot music dot load so this is going to load the music on the mixer and finally this is a function this is a line of code which is going to play the song for stopping the song i have made use of two lines of codes one is set one is with a function set and second is with function stop so this is going to set the status to stopped and the music is going to stop through this line of code for pausing the song i have made use of these two lines of codes again uh, the mu when you will pause the music okay if you'll pause the music so this paused is going to get displayed over here it's because of this status dot set okay this is uh, the line of code which is actually uh, due to which this paused is reflecting getting reflected over here okay and this is the line of code which is pausing the music this is the mu this is these are the lines of codes which is going to unpause the song when uh, the user will hit this unpause button and this is for creating the tk container root directory now passing the root directory to the music player is also important so this is the line of code which is going to help us in doing the same and finally this is the loop this is a main loop which is going to you know execute this whole code i have defined over here on this platform so hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot please try this music player